Well, once upon a time in school, the motto was reading, writing, and arithmetic taught to the tune of a hickory stick. Well, those two days may return in one north central Florida county. TV 20's Chris Gilmore reports that a school board vote will change the way administrators can punish students. That's right, paddling is back, Paige, and that's after the Marion County School Board voted in 2010 to ban the practice from schools. Even after the recent majority vote to reintroduce corporal punishment, parents and school board officials remain divided on the topic. I mean, what if something happens and the, the principal actually hurts the child? That's just one question on the minds of parents in Marion County after three out of five school board members voted to allow paddling in elementary schools. Corporal punishment is legal in Florida, but it's up to county school boards to implement. Do you like getting spanked at all? No. It's not fun. No, sir. That's the sound many disciplined students around Marion County might be hearing next year, and it's going to be applied to the buttocks rather than the palm, and this is going to resemble more of a pledge paddle rather than a paint stir, but after a 3-2 vote last night, corporal punishment's coming back to the classroom. It's crazy. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's Absolutely. just crazy. It's just, you know, something you shouldn't do, hurt your child, actually. You know what I mean? You can discipline them, give them time out and stuff like that, but abuse, no, that's not a call for. But Marion County School Board member Carol Ely, who recommended the change, says that paddling does things for elementary school students that time out can't. She knows from experience. She was a principal in the school system for 14 years. We don't hit very hard. It's the emotional impact that we hit more than anything um, because the child's in our office with their back to us and their rear up in the air. And uh, we have a, the secretary witnessing it. Do you discipline your children at all? Uh, yes, I do. And I only live two blocks away. So if they need to be paddled, they can call me up and I'll come paddling for them. Parents must give permission before a student can be paddled, but only administrators are allowed to deliver the punishment. At the beginning of next school year, parents of elementary school students will be given a form to sign if they wish for their child to be paddled if they misbehave. The Ramoses say they never saw a problem with the old discipline system. They're, they're acting like the kids are getting completely out of control when... Mm -hmm. They're really not. It's still up to the principal to decide whether or not corporal punishment should be administered. And according to last night's meeting, a student may only be given three whacks once a semester. Chris Gilmore, TV20 News.